things. Number one, uh, what's the sense uh, up front this year in terms of camaraderie and a lot of young guys and a lot of veterans, but uh, how are you guys coming together? Yeah, I've been really happy with how we're coming together right now. Um, we had a really productive spring and we had a lot of early enrollees that kind of got to learn the playbook really early. And so it's been kind of a seamless transition from spring to summer um, and fall camp. And so, you know, insults are going in seamlessly. We're, re we're really able to kind of come off the ball, focus on playing fast, playing physical. So I'm really happy with how we've started playing so far. And I really hope we can just continue that that progress we've had. I've seen a lot of improvement from the young guys too, which is really good to see. And, you know, obviously we didn't lose too many guys last year. Um, to this year. So um, the camaraderie has been, isn't really good. And we, we, we hope to keep building that um, as fall camp keeps coming around. And then does your position kind of vary tackle guard, depending on what Zach Zinner does and how much has he been working at center and how much are they moving you? Yeah. Um, I've been just kind of working on um, guard and tackle, um, you know, trying to be able to help the team in whatever position I can, um, whether that be, you know, tackle or guard. And I know Zach has been working guard and center too. Um, so, you know, it's, it's really just comes down to being able to be ready for whatever position they put you in. And so, I mean, me and him are both trying to play, you know, two positions just to kind of get, you know, know the calls, know the feel, everything. And so whatever they, they need us to, to play, we'll play. And so we've been focusing on both of them kind of and uh, being ready to play wherever they want to put us. Thank you. Our next question is from Isaiah. Hey, Andrew, what's the atmosphere been like in terms of you have – a room full of guys who have experience, especially from last year due to injuries. A lot of guys that got experience that didn't have it before, but not so many starting roles. So what's that atmosphere been like for the, essentially the entire group? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think last year <clears throat> it was a crazy year, but I think it was good in one sense. Um, it got a lot of people playing that if otherwise would not have been gotten many playing time. And I think what that did to a lot of people is realize, you know, you, you have to be able and you have to be ready to play at all times. So I think now everyone takes meetings and being the second up, I think that that's, that's a lot more serious role taking. You know, usually a lot of people are mad at being a backup or, you know, having to take two reps, but from last year, you know, everyone realized that if one person goes down, you know, for anything, you know, contact tracing, COVID, whatever it could be that you were next up, um, whether, whether you're ready or not, you know, your name was going to get called. So, uh, I think a lot of people now are, are especially, you know, in the younger guys and the younger guys who are in the two group, the three group are taking their roles a lot more seriously and are, are knowing that they have to be ready to be put in the position to play. And so it's been really cool to see a, a very competitive, um, interactive learning atmosphere. You see like a great enthusiasm for the young guys that want to learn and, and learn and, and become ready to play and become ready to be in that two or that one spot. Um, and so it's been a great atmosphere so far and hoping to keep the energy going throughout camp and into the season. So the next guy here is uh, John Borton. Andrew, this hadn't been the Michigan's biggest year for off-season hype, maybe because of some of the last year's struggles. What are some of the specifics that you see that convince you that this year is going to be a big step forward? Mm -hmm. um, I think the first one was just the spring we had. I've never seen that much um, want and drive um, for a spring practice. I've been, you know, I've been here for five years, and that – kind of that energy going into spring ball was something that I've, I've never seen before. And I've never seen carry through the whole spring ball too, into the spring game. Um, it's something that is, is really just um, is unheard of for me. And now, especially now, I think going into the season, um, going into fall camp, I think that the senior leadership is something that's really good. Um, and the bond that the seniors have, you know, my class is obviously the fifth year graduate class now, and there's only a few of us left and the bond that we have, um, and the way that, that we're able to kind of cover the whole, you know, special teams, offense, defense, and kind of we're all close we're all in the same class. So that leadership is and that bond, I think, has trickled down through the whole team. And, and the whole team right now is, is really close um, from a teamship, from a teammate bond, from a brothership bond. I think that we're really close and we're growing that. And, you know, we're, we're getting the freshmen involved. We're, you know, we're bringing them along. So I think that the bond that we have right now is something that I haven't really felt um, as close in past years, uh, maybe because I was on a classroom or something. Now, you know, my fifth year. But I think right now the bond we have as a team is, is something that's special, and I can't wait to see it happen um, come fall. Our next question here is from Brandon. Yeah, Andrew, I wonder if you could uh, give us a, in, some insight as to what it's like playing for Coach Moore now, shifting over from Coach Warner and what he, you know, what he brings to the table, what he's really good at, what, he, what you guys like about him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just love Coach Moore. Um, yeah, I love his enthusiasm. I love kind of his, his mindset in the game. Um, he's really big and being kind of a um, – an interactive kind of communicative, communicative coach, um, being able to let any a freshman, 
whatever year kind of come in and talk and and just really learn the game 